Good morning, Main Street Dojo and fellow members of the Gojo organization. And today, this video is specifically for new students who have just joined or recently joined the dojo. Thank you for choosing Gojo and the USA Gojo organization as the means to begin your martial arts career. And I realize that when you first join a dojo, there are some there are some hills that you have to get over. Getting used to the classroom environment, the, the way we talk, the way we line up, the ways in which we do things can be very difficult. Stay patient and it will all come with, to you in time. One of the first things you have to learn when you join the dojo is not only how to wear your uniform, but how to tie your belt. This video is being made for all our new students to help answer those two questions. First, when it comes to your uniform or your gi, the top portion of your gi is often referred to as a kyoji. If you take the right side of your gi and fold it in across your chest, and then on the inside, you can tie the straps much as you would a shoestring. The left side of your gi top folds over top, and you should see the you should see the lapel coming from your left shoulder down towards your right hip, and then on the outside area here, you tie the straps so that it holds it across. Now when it comes to tying your belt, I'm going to demonstrate this from three different angles. Now there are different ways to tie your belt. This is just one and a very basic way to teach you how to tie your belt, but hopefully this will assist you and, and the parents at home. But I'm going to film it first by standing to my right, second by facing the camera, and third by standing to my left so you can see this from different angles. Now what I want you to do first is fold your belt into half. And I'm going to stand to my right and I want you to take the top half of your belt, the folded part of your health, and lay it across your belly button. Pull it to your back and crisscross the straps and pull it snug. With that, you take the left side of your belt and you lay it against yourself and the right side of your belt comes over top. You take the top part portion of your belt and you fold it underneath both folds and pull it straight up. From here, you take the lower portion, pull it across, take the top down, pull it up, and after that, you pull it nice and snug, and there should be a squared piece facing the front with the ears hanging down. I'm going to do this a second time. This, this uh, time, I'll be facing the camera. But again, fold your belt in half. Take the top portion of your belt, place it against your, your belly button, your waist, cross it to the back, pull it snug, take the left side and lay it down, take the right side over top, then fold that portion underneath both folds and pull it up. Take the lower portion, pull it across, top portion down, back up, pull it tight, and pull your ears down. This squared portion of your belt should be facing forward. The eared portion of your belt should be facing toward the floor. Some of the newer belts, the ears may stick out to the right and left. Just keep pulling them down and creasing them. They will, they will go downward in time. So we're going to do this one last time, and this time facing to my left. So again, fold the belt in half. Take the top portion of your belt, lay it against your belly button, your waist, around the back, cross it, pull it tight, bring the left side in, the right side comes over top, tuck it up underneath both of your folds, and pull it up high. Take the lower portion, pull it across, top portion down and up, and then Pull it nice and tight, pulling the ears of your belt down. When you finish, straighten your gi top, and you're good to go. Okay, so again, for all of our new students, thank you for joining our dojo and our organization. If you have any questions about how to put on your gi top or how to tie your belt, please catch me after class. You can also call me or send me an email and uh, practice this at home. And also, 
when it comes to your belt, uh, you never wash your belt. There is a belief and a philosophy that if you wash your belt, you're washing away the knowledge that you have put into it. Secondly, you never just take your belt off and throw it on the floor. That would be considered disrespectful. If you're not wearing your belt, it should be folded up properly, placed inside your, placed inside your gi bag, hung over a hanger, something of that nature, but it should never lie directly on the floor. Should your belt come untied, okay, should your belt become untied or loose during class, never straighten your belt facing the front of class. That's considered disrespectful and disruptive. If you need to, turn around, face the back of the class, tighten your belt, and then turn back and face the class and join back in. Also, if your belt should happen to fall off of you during the course of a class, again, pick it up, turn and face the back of the class, put your belt back on, and then turn around and face the front of the class. For all of our new students and parents, I hope you find this, this uh, portion of the video very helpful. Practice these things at home. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for, for your attention and have a great day.